In this video, we will discuss some of the reasons adolescents may not be accessing the HPV vaccine and how to select effective messages and strategies for discussing HPV vaccination with them. But first, a few basic facts about HPV vaccine. HPV vaccine helps prevent cervical cancer by protecting against different types of human papillomavirus, or HPV. Nearly all cases of cervical cancer are due to HPV infection. HPV is a common virus and is mainly transmitted through sexual contact. Therefore, the vaccine is most effective when administered to a person before they become sexually active. The HPV vaccine is commonly delivered to girls during adolescence. However, it can also be delivered to adolescent boys and older women and men. Each country will have its own schedule and target population. If the HPV vaccine is currently part of your national immunization program, it's important to ensure a supply of HPV vaccines is available and that communication about the vaccine targets girls the correct age for the vaccination in your country. There may be many reasons why girls are not fully vaccinated for HPV. They may not be aware of the benefits of the vaccine, including its role in preventing cervical cancer. They may not know when or where they can get the vaccine. They may have questions about what to expect during and immediately following vaccination, especially whether they will experience pain. They and their parents may have concerns due to community rumors or myths, or they may not think the vaccine is for them. Because HPV is transmitted through sexual activity, adolescent girls and their parents or caregivers may assume that they do not need the HPV vaccine at their age. Start by talking with girls in the community to learn about their understanding and attitude towards HPV and the vaccine. Hold focus group discussions. Girls may feel more at ease talking in a group with some of their peers. You may also work with established girls groups in the community, such as Girl Guides, to learn more about girls' understanding and attitude towards HPV vaccine. Have individual conversations as well to understand more about private and sensitive issues girls do not feel they can share with others in the community. You could ask questions like, how do you feel about vaccines? And who makes the decision about whether you have a vaccine or not? Have you heard of cervical cancer? What do you know about the HPV vaccine? Or who do you discuss your health-related issues with? Keep in mind that girls' families and communities play a key role in influencing their perception of and access to the vaccine. It is also important to discuss HPV vaccination with parents and caregivers in addition to girls. What you learn will help you create relatable messages that resonate with girls and address their needs. Now that you have gathered information and understand the issues that your target audience faces, you can come up with your key messages. Research shows that in general, Girls in early adolescence, aged 9 to 14 years old, are less motivated by threats or punishments, take more risks, often due to their lack of access to information and health services, do not plan ahead, are easily bored, and are influenced by peer recognition and peer pressure. Keep your message simple and age-appropriate. This will help the audience understand and retain the messages. The messages you choose to deliver and the exact wording of those messages will depend on the age of girls your country is targeting for vaccination and what is appropriate in your context. Make your message interesting for adolescent girls. What other girls think and say is very important. Share positive stories and supportive advice from influencers, including older girls who have received the HPV vaccine. Emphasize that the HPV vaccine protects against cervical cancer. Emotions play a big role in girls' decision-making at this age. 
Understanding and addressing their fears is very important when you're trying to avoid the spreading of rumors and vaccine hesitancy. For example, if girls have fears about the vaccine or are worried about pain or possible side effects, you could offer messages such as, the HPV vaccine is safe. It may produce mild side effects. They usually last less than a day and are not dangerous. The HPV vaccine keeps you healthy and feels like any other injection into the arm. Your arm may feel a little sore for a day or so, but that feeling soon goes away. Be sure to avoid repeating rumors. Restating it could unintentionally reinforce the rumor. Instead, focus on facts and positive stories that demonstrate the vaccine's safety. It may be helpful to use multiple strategies to deliver messages about HPV vaccination to adolescent girls. First, the carrier of the message can be as important as the message itself. The carrier of the message needs to be trusted and respected by girls, especially if you're working to combat fears and suspicion. As a health worker, you could play a role as an authority figure, delivering trustworthy and credible information. A grandmother or teacher may also be an authority figure in girls' lives. It may be helpful to engage other influencers in a girl's life to carry positive messages about HPV vaccine. For example, an auntie could offer informed advice in a confidential and non-judgmental manner. A peer could deliver messages about the HPV vaccine with a sense of real-world experience. Engage girls in peer-to-peer -peer activities so they can play a role in preventing hesitancy. Encourage conversations. Create a safe space where girls feel comfortable expressing themselves, perhaps away from the public and men in the community. Listen to them and answer their questions. Ultimately, you want girls to feel comfortable speaking about the vaccine with others. Talk with girls together with their mothers or caregivers. This helps promote intergenerational conversations about disease prevention and could encourage cervical cancer screening for older generations who did not receive the vaccine. Once girls are educated about the HPV vaccine and its benefits, they can inform and advocate for the vaccine with their parents, and they can talk to other girls about the vaccine too. You should now know some of the reasons adolescents may not be accessing the HPV vaccine, and how to select effective messages and strategies for discussing HPV vaccination with adolescent girls.